Hi everyone, so for today's lesson we are focusing on this very small part of transfer printing and you should be able to see that there's a bit of interfacing that's now been attached on the back. Now that's on there to make this piece of fabric a little bit stronger and to make sure that your pencil case is easy for you to sew. If you've got a bit of an overlap with the interfacing, you need to trim the interfacing part off only. You should be able to tell quite easily which part is the interfacing, it will feel a little bit different. So first of all, that can be taken off like that. Then the next thing you need to do is you are going to draw on some lines onto here. So we're going to have this landscape. First of all, you want to measure it accurately. So measure it along like so and find the half point. So this one's about 14. So you need about seven there, about seven here. Now it's really important that you draw this on accurately. If you draw it wrong, you're going to end up with lots of lines all over your piece of work, which obviously we don't want. So that's our first line there. Then halve that again. So that's about seven, so that's about 3.5. like so mark it along as shown here and again one more time with the remaining part so 3.5 again so the idea is they should be roughly equal distance apart roughly like that now these are your guidelines that you are going to be sewing along so now you're going on to the sewing machine. Now you can use a variety of different decorative stitches. Your teacher will tell you which ones you can use and they are shown on this panel of the sewing machine here. The way that you change those stitches, so say for example I'm looking for stitch number seven which is a zigzag stitch, I would then change that stitch using these buttons here which will change this big number here. So it's just these big numbers here that you're changing to make it to the stitch that you want so i'd like seven so i put the up button to, until i get to number seven make sure all of these are set appropriately now starting with the middle section only so the middle line you are then going to sew along here so you're going to put the press foot down using this button here and then you're going to carefully sew it along it's important that you start your piece of work um, a little bit onto the fabric um, as that makes sure that it's got enough fabric to catch. If it starts sewing in the same place, you need to stop and fix it and let the teacher know if needed. So your hands need to go back here and here and then you're going to gently press the foot pedal, which is by your feet, and then it's going to slowly so along your pattern so i'm just going to speed it up just because i don't want you waiting here watching me the whole time but it's really important that you make sure that everything is as neat as possible now you want this stitching line to stand out so if you need to change the thread at all you are more than welcome to do that i suggest you pick a thread that you and your partner are happy with so when you get to the end as soon as you're at the end of the fabric stop lift up the presser foot like that and you pull it out you pull it out about 20 centimeters and when you cut don't cut here cut right over here on your piece of fabric now you can change the stitch you don't have to do the same one the whole way along so i might say for example change this to uh, 27 instead so I could do that. Again, I'm following along. I'm lining up my line with the needle. And then it's going to sew my design. Remember the machine does the guiding for you, 
you're just making sure it's going in a straight line. When you've finished, press the foot up and remove. So you're repeating that until both, all three of your lines are done. If you finish earlier, your teacher might ask you to do a couple more lines on here to add a bit more decoration.